This giant space umbrella might save the world. How can this humongous umbrella affect our world? Can it save our world from the global disasters we face today? Climate change and global warming have been imminent in the past century. Humans are slowly destroying our Earth, but it's not too late. In this video, we'll reveal how a gigantic umbrella in the sky can help the problems of the Earth. How humans are slowly destroying the Earth. Earth is in its worst state ever. Rising temperatures, sudden changes in climate, higher ocean levels. These are just a few of the problems our planet is facing. And it is getting worse and worse. Global warming is an inevitable challenge for our Earth. Every year, the planet's surface gets warmer. In fact, since 1900, the surface air temperature has risen by 1 degree Celsius or 1.8 degrees Fahrenheit. Half of this was contributed in the 1970s and onwards. Scientists and environmentalists are now alarmed because of this dangerous trend. Not just that, they also predicted that the uptrend in Earth's atmosphere will increase exponentially. We might live on a much warmer Earth by the end of this decade. Another thing that is often associated with global warming is climate change. Climate change is the long-term shift in temperature and in weather patterns that are harmful to our ecosystems. Climate change and global warming are very much felt around the world, especially at the Earth's poles. Every decade, we lose almost 13% of Arctic and Antarctic ice, and that causes a rippling effect on our planet. The melting ice causes the ocean levels to get higher and higher every year. The higher the ocean levels get, the more islands get submerged into the ocean, and low land areas experience heavy floods. All of these changes are because of us humans. Millions of factories are secreting harmful materials into our atmosphere. Oceans and seas are full of garbage, mostly non-biodegradable plastics. Wide-scale deforestation causes floods and reduces oxygen production by trees. Mining also plays a huge role in global warming and climate change. Considering all of this, scientists all over the world are helping each other to resolve this lingering danger to our planet. What exactly are we doing to help our Earth? And what is this giant space umbrella that can save the planet from all of these? What are the current plans to save our Earth? Scientists and environmentalists around the world are now collaborating to reduce the potential dangers the Earth might be facing in the near future. They are calling out aggressively to the leaders of every nation to join the fight against global warming and climate change and urge them to implement eco-friendly laws to slow down the deterioration of our planet. Scientists are urging more people to join the green movement, spreading the word offline but also online, where people spend most of their time nowadays. Even local leaders are now calling out big-time company owners to reduce their harmful waste, which massively contributes to the pollution of the world, ordering them to use greener methods to help the Earth. All non-biodegradable plastics are now mostly prohibited by the largest fast food chains in the world, like McDonald's, Burger King, and Wendy's. They are using more eco-friendly utensils that are biodegradable and easier to recycle. Aside from these big fast food chains, car companies are moving into a greener business mindset. The wealthiest man in the world, Elon Musk, is most popular for his monumental work at Tesla, where they produce eco-friendly electric vehicles. Electric cars are much more efficient when it comes to consuming energy and don't release harmful smoke that contains carbon monoxide, which can deeply harm our atmosphere. The government is also inspiring youth to protect our planet by planting more plants and trees, which contribute greatly to a greener environment. But maybe you're asking, is it too late for the Earth to be saved? The problem is now present. Global warming and climate change are now happening. What more can scientists do to stop this? Well, they already found the answer, and it is a gigantic umbrella in the sky. The giant umbrella that can save the Earth from destruction. Scientists are now on red alert. They're implementing innovative ways to save our planet from further danger. But even they know that these precautionary measures are not enough. They need something big, some sort of a breakthrough to fix all of the Earth's problems. Now they have the answer by building a ginormous umbrella that can save the planet. Deforestation and large amounts of carbon emissions are two of the main contributors to the Earth's slow destruction. About 10,000 years ago, almost 60% of the Earth's habitable land was covered by forest. That's a massive 6 billion hectares of forest. 
Today, there are only 4 billion hectares left. That's a 33% decrease. With this much deforestation happening in the world and carbon emission at its all-time high, scientists are now leaning towards the idea of using a giant umbrella to help cool down the planet. When I said a giant umbrella, I wasn't kidding. The European Space Agency is currently building it as of this moment. But this giant umbrella will not cover the Earth from the sun rays or harmful radiation. Rather, it'll help scientists here on Earth solve our major problems with our depleting forests. This giant umbrella will be a huge biomass satellite in space, which will measure the biomass level in our forests. It is now being built in the United Kingdom by the European Space Agency, ESA. The biomass satellite is pretty cool. It'll monitor forests on Earth and help scientists gather sufficient data to solve climate change. What is a biomass and why is it important to measure? Well, in simple terms, biomass is the total number of living organisms in one animal or plant species in a community. So, maybe you are wondering why do we need a big umbrella to measure this biomass? Well, it is because we need to measure the carbon levels of our Earth and biomass contains carbon. If there's too much carbon released to the Earth's atmosphere, our planet will get warmer, and this will result in global warming and climate change. Just a little fact, around half of the biomass consists of carbon. So, when the trees and vegetation are destroyed, these massive amounts of carbon are released to the atmosphere. But the problem is that it is very difficult to track how much carbon is stored in the forests and how much more difficult to measure its changes over the years. With the biomass satellite, we can measure the biomass levels in our forests. We can measure how much carbon is being consumed by our trees. But how exactly will this giant umbrella do that? It is all thanks to the very first P-band radar in space. The P-band radar is also called the penetration radar. The P-band is a type of radar frequency band that can easily penetrate through vegetation because of its low-frequency electromagnetic waves. With this type of radar, this satellite can even count the exact number of trees present in the Earth's forests. It will also count the carbon present in the forest's biomass. Scientists right now estimate that the entire Earth's biomass has a total of 550 million tons in pounds of carbon present. But this number is most likely wrong. With the help of this gigantic umbrella, we can now gather everything we need to know about our forests. This data will be used to plan the next move to save our forests and the Earth from further destruction. ESA is planning to launch this exceptional 40-foot, 13-meter wide biomass satellite as early as 2024. It will orbit 400 miles, 640 kilometers above the Earth's surface and will capture a snapshot of the entire planet in 228 days. Do you think this giant umbrella can save us from climate change? Are you excited about what discoveries it will uncover? What are you doing to make the world a better place?